Is web development saturated for beginners? This has been one of the most common questions that I've been getting from beginners as of recently. I mean, is it worth giving this a shot? Should you go all in? Should you even bother spending your time trying to become a web developer with the way that everything is today? And if that's a question you find yourself asking often, make sure to stay and watch this video to the end because I'm going to show you why it's still absolutely possible to learn to code and break into tech. Honestly, arguably the easiest it has ever been, but most people are just going about it the wrong way. Now, just quickly, before we dive into the video, in case you're wondering why I should listen to this random person on the internet. If you don't already know who I am, hey, my name is Ayman. I transitioned from working a blue collar job in a warehouse to landing an $80,000 coding job in under six months of learning. These are just a few instances of recruiters reaching out to me for six figure roles across my entire career. So if we click into this one here, you can see I was recruited for a role paying 160K per year. And not to mention the results I've gotten for dozens of my students who I've helped learn to code, transition into tech and land high paying coding jobs. All right, so now that we have that out of the way let's dive straight into the video and i want to start this one by hitting you with a crazy truth bomb and i search for jobs in the united states that contain the keywords junior and react we get a total of 52 results and you can see that right here in this image 52 so in essence that means that we have a total of 52 jobs in the u.s catering to beginner web developers now on the contrary if i search for jobs in the united states that just contain the word react so no junior we get a total of 41,508 results. And you might be thinking, okay, this is cool, but what is the point that I'm trying to make with these numbers? Well, what I'm trying to show you is that absolutely no one wants juniors. No company in their full capacity wants to hire a junior. And before you just click off this video and rush to the comments, let's talk about why this is actually the case. Let's imagine for a second, your toilet is broken. It's an absolute mess. You have water leaking everywhere and your house is a mess and you want it fixed ASAP. Which of these two plumbers would you hire to fix the issue? Would you hire a plumber one who is very expensive, but is very well experienced and you know can fix the issue immediately? Or would you hire a plumber two, the apprentice who watched a course on Udemy on how to fix toilets, doesn't necessarily have a solid track record and might or might not be able to fix it? Well, you're obviously going to choose the experienced plumber because you want someone who can solve your problem and get the job done fast and clean, no matter what the price is. And the same logic applies to companies and business. You see, naturally businesses are going to have competitors and they want to develop a product that is on the cutting edge and gives them an advantage against those competitors. And for that reason, companies don't want to hire juniors because they're a risk and they might or might not work out. And companies cannot afford to take that risk because if it goes wrong, they're going to lose a lot of valuable time and resources that they cannot afford to lose. So what is the result? Well, we have thousands of juniors competing for the few true entry level roles in the market whilst the experience Experienced developers have their pick between tens of thousands of jobs. And this explains why juniors and tech beginners or career transitioners are struggling so extremely hard to get hired and are getting the impression that web development is saturated. Whereas the mid levels and the senior engineers, or even the people with just a little bit of experience on their resume, are eating good. Obviously, I didn't make this video just to make you feel like crap. There is a way to solve this. If you can find a way to prove to companies that you are a reliable and experienced developer who knows their stuff. You can put yourself in the running for those 40,000 other jobs in the market rather than being stuck competing in the saturated junior market. And the only way to do this as a developer is to build what I call commercial projects. These are the projects that are actually going to get you hired. And this is how you get past the experience paradox. But what even are commercial projects? Well, commercial projects refer to any project you create that genuinely solves a real problem in the world and actually has real users and a real use case. So while the projects that most people build out and put on their portfolio, like a to-do app, a calculator app, a Netflix clone, or these days, a generic AI chatbot are very good for helping you learn and improve your programming skills. Commercial projects are instead built with the purpose of actually providing a real software solution to a problem in the marketplace. So in simple terms, this project you're building isn't just for the sake of learning. You're actually building it with the goal of solving someone's problem or building an app for real users. And just to make this easier to understand for you, here are some real examples of commercial projects that I've literally gotten myself and my students hired. So these aren't just random examples I'm pulling out of thin air. These are actual real projects that you can take inspiration from 
that have literally been proven to work and have gotten myself and my students hired in high paying coding jobs. And the first one is going to be building a startup. So one of my students, Ronan, who landed a 70K software engineering job just two weeks into my program. And just to be completely transparent, he already knew how to code. He was already a bootcamp graduate. He already went through a ton of boot camps but was really, really struggling to actually make the transition and land a job. He joined the program. We had him build out a password manager extension, which he deployed on the Chrome store. So he built out this super legit looking startup that again, he actually deployed on the Chrome store. And basically what it was, was a simple password manager. So just a place where people could store all of their passwords in one place and easily access them whenever they wanted to log in to an account on a website or any social media. And what you're going to notice is this is a very, very simple concept. This is not a unique, crazy idea. You see, when I tell people to build a startup, they think that you have to build this revolutionary groundbreaking idea, but that's simply not the case. You can build a very, very simple application like this that has been done a million times before you could build a to-do list for busy parents you could build a habit tracker for university students the actual idea of the startup honestly doesn't matter at all what matters and what is going to make this a commercial project is actually going out of your way to deploy this and make this app look like a real legit startup. So the reason this project got Ronan hired is we had him deploy it to the Chrome store. We had him make a whole landing page for the startup. And what that allowed us to do is then use this commercial project and put it on our resume as experience. So he could say he was the founding software engineer at PassProtect. He could put all of these dot points on his resume about the project. And he was then able to leverage that experience to get an interview at a startup, which then took him on and hired him. Now, another example is building a portfolio site for a freelance artist. So one of my students, Seth, who landed his first software engineering internship just four months into my program, and that converted into a 52K full-time job offer, was able to land that internship by having a commercial project on his resume. And for him, what that was, was building a portfolio website for his brother, who was, I believe, a game developer or some sort of game designer. He basically built a portfolio website for him. And then he was able to say that he was a freelance developer on his resume. And for his experience points, he was able to talk about all of the things and all of the work that went into building that portfolio website for his brother. And when recruiters saw that commercial project, they took an interest on him. They brought him in for an interview and bank, he got the offer. Now, the next one is building a website for a local business. So this is actually the project that I built to land my first software engineering job. And essentially what I did is I reached out to absolutely everyone that I knew. Hey, I will build you a website completely for free. I don't care what it is, a website, a web app. Just let me know what it is and I'll build it for you completely free of charge. And eventually after reaching out to enough people, a friend of mine who owned a car detailing company reached out to me and said he needed a website. So I built this out top to bottom. And as you can see, it's not super complex. Complex. It's just a simple brochure website. It's not the most complex project in the world. But what I was then able to do after building this website for him was put this on my resume as experience and say I worked as a front end developer for Polaris Automotive and talk about all of the experience points, all of the things that went into building this website. And eventually, after applying to enough companies, a company took an interest in me and brought me in for an interview and asked me questions about this experience. And when they dig deeper into this experience, I was actually able to back it up with real proof. I was able to talk about all of the thoughts and all of the processes that went into building this website. I mean, they even asked me for a reference. So they wanted the contact details of the owner of this company so that they could verify that it was legit. And again, I was able to give those details to them and verify this experience as a completely legit. And once they had done that, they brought me on, they gave me the hiring contract and I joined the company. So all of these projects are completely legitimate experiences that you can leverage to get hired. Now we'll go through one last example here. So this is a project that got one of my students, Salman hired in an $80,000 job in under nine months of learning. And essentially what he did was build an AI integrated movie summarizer. And just like all of the other projects before, Salman went out of his way to deploy this startup, make it look super legit. And instead of building this project to learn, he genuinely built it to solve a real problem in the marketplace. And lo and behold, lots of companies took interest in this project and eventually got him hired. You see what all of these projects had in common is that they were not super complex. They were not the most technical or crazy groundbreaking project. But what they did is they gave us real world valuable experience that we could use to prove to companies and say, hey, I've actually built and deliver software products that are used by real customers. And that shows them that we are reliable, that we know our stuff and can hit the ground running 
right away without being a hindrance to the company. And of course, these projects are going to be more difficult and time consuming to build than a to do app or a calculator app. But building just one to two of these and then putting them as experience on your resume will put you in the running for the rest of the 40,000 web developer jobs in the market rather than being stuck competing for the 50 junior roles like the rest of your competition. Now, if you're running low on ideas and you don't know where to get started and you don't know what commercial project to build to get ideas, I'd highly recommend checking out student hackathon projects from top universities like Harvard and these are going to give you a ton of more complex technical project ideas that are still commercial and actually solve a real problem in the world so if you really want to challenge yourself you want to challenge your technical skills while also building a commercial project that's useful to the real world and that you can actually leverage as experience then this might be the way to go or if you're after some more simple but just as effective commercial projects then you can check out websites like producthunt.com where people come to share their different side projects and startups so if you go to producthunt.com you'll see a ton of different side projects and startups and products that people are releasing every single day and you're never going to be running low on ideas and again you can see that the projects on this website aren't super complex you can see that this is basically an ai integrated to-do app not the most complex idea in the world an ai grocery list maker again not the most complex project in the world but these projects look super legit they actually solve a real problem in the marketplace which is the whole point. So these are just as effective as any other commercial project you could build. But no matter how you manage to come up with a commercial project idea, if you can just build one solid high quality commercial project and put that on your resume as professional experience, I can guarantee you from the bottom of my heart, you will five times the amount of interviews and offers you are getting and you'll finally be able to land that developer job that you've wanted all this time now to wrap up this video i want to discuss one final thing it's easy to watch this entire video and think is it even worth doing all of this to land a developer job like is the like is the juice even worth the squeeze at this point but honestly it's really not that complicated it's not that hard and it, but it's super easy to watch all these videos online by these fear-mongering influencers and get in your own head and make things more complex than they actually are but when you remove all the noise and we dumb everything down we get rid of all the bs all you have to do is just build a project that actually has a real use case so this was built for a real person to solve a real problem put that on your resume's experience and bang problem solved this is not going to take you one to three years like this video makes it seem honestly just two three four months focusing on the right things and you are set. I've had students do it even quicker. Like I said, Ronan before, who built out a project in two weeks, deployed it and got hired. And secondly, if you are getting demotivated and questioning why you're even doing this, why you're learning to code, I want you to remember why you started. As someone who's on the other side of this, everything you hear is true. Once you get good, you do earn six figures. You do get to travel the world. You do just get to work a few hours a day and enjoy your life. But obviously to get to that point, just like anything worth achieving, you're going to have to trudge through the beginning stages. But I promise you from the bottom of my heart, one once you land that first job in the industry, you get your foot in the door, you start making industry connections, you start learning from your absolute genius co-workers, everything is just going to be uphill from there. Take it from someone on the other side. So that's pretty much all for today's video. But just in case you've made it this far into the video and you're still doubting or questioning my advice or whether this is going to work, let me know when you're consistently landing your students high paying coding jobs and we can have a conversation. So if you want to learn more about how to learn to code and break into tech, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a full training on everything you need to learn to code and land your first job from scratch watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now and also if you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching to land a 60 to 100k coding job in the next three to six months guaranteed then apply to join the coding bootcamp with the first link in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video